Good morning, Wallaby Dick. It is a uh, little bit of a choppy day out here on the continental shelf. Here with the big Muzz himself. Being an idiot, dropping jigs. Dro <laughs> he's dropping a jig in 212 meters of water, uh, just on that nice drop off. All right, on the continental shelf, I should say. We presently have wind gusts of about eight to 10 knots. Plenty of bird activity this morning. Dolphins everywhere, double rainbows. It's all bloody happening. Hopefully we can catch a fish. Electric reel is out. And Muzz is also out a long way. Look at that drift on the... <laughs> have, you, have you hit the bottom yet? Yeah, I'm on the bottom. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, nice. He's on the bottom. All right, let's see what the day has to hold for us. We caught a little bit of bait last night. I didn't have so much luck. Salmon for bait. Murray was right onto it. So looks like we've got a bit of action here. I'm gonna hold us into position. And uh, we'll get back to you. I thought it was snagged up, there was quite a fair bit of weight. Um, managed to swerve around and do a couple of laps around the rod, but it looks like whatever it's run down into, if there was any reef, it's out now. Uh, there's definitely some weight on here, so fingers crossed we'll pull up something. Had some bigger baits on there as well alongside our Lumo, so it's really tough work with this electric reel. No tail beats though, that's the thing. So, who knows what the verdict is at this point. What do you think, Muzz? Oh, I don't know, I'm sort of thinking maybe a ling. A ling? Yeah. There's still a bit of weight there. Two ling. Beautiful. God, they're ugly bastards, aren't they? Nice. We are on the board for the day, onto a couple of pink ling, or ling. Interesting species. Stinky, but delicious. Both are sitting around the uh, 70 centimeter mark. So they're going to make for some fantastic table fish for us. We're very stoked to be on the board with the deep drop mission today. No blue eye as of yet. It's been a pretty quiet morning. We were out here, uh, probably the, well, we were the first ones off the boat ramp. One other soul in sight. I'm walking around like I'm pissed as a nit. <laughs> uh, but if we don't have much luck soon, I think we'll go in and do a little bit of jigging and um, yeah, try our luck. With our combo today, we're on the Tanacom Electric. And last time we were out here, Blue Eye deep dropping or deep dropping for Blue Eye, we didn't actually use any Lumo lights on the rig at all. So today we've placed a nice purple light at the very top of our rig with our five hooks. Legal amount, five hooks. Um, so that seems to really be helping us in attracting a couple of different species down there. Uh, despite the fact that we do have a couple of little squid on our deep drop rig that glow in the dark, hopefully it's going to attract some more fish around what we've got at our presentation. Um, so let's keep on fishing and hopefully we can pick up something else. If not, we're going to go in and we might just have a flatty bash for the rest of the afternoon. Let me know in the comments below what weight you use for dropping in about 370 meters of water. Right now, the bottom is looking really cool, so I'm gonna be very surprised if we don't pick something up. We'll keep you updated. We'll swap you back to the GoPro, and let me know in the comments below uh, if you use a Lumo light with your rig, and the kind of weight as well, because we're still experimenting out here, but it's good fun. 
So the thing about deep dropping is that when you've got a, what, a, even a one or two kilo fish on top of your one kilo of lead, you don't really know if you've got a fish on there. Murray seems to suspect that with that bend, you're pretty adamant. Oh, about 50-50. 50-50 that we've got a fish on there. I'm gonna say no, but I hope to be proven wrong. Because there just wasn't enough weight as what we put up last time. We had two on last time. That's true, yeah, that's true. There is a bit of weight there. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll bet the knockoff beer All right. at the pub. Right, there's not going to be one on there. I'll, cl I'll clean it. All right, I'll everyone saw it. Beer. Okay, you'll clean the fish if yeah. there's not one on there? Yeah. All right, done. Here we go. We've got 180 meters left. Drinking another beer. Yeah. <laughs> Very quiet. This just in, Murray's cleaning the fish. Feels, on, feels so good to be right. <laughs> uh, 49 meters of line left, there might be something on here. Couple of head nods. We're about to find out. This is just hard work. The anticipation is just so sore on my arms. <laughs> There's got to be something on here. Couple of little head shakes, couple of little bites, circle hooks. It all adds up. We got some colour. Bloody good. Plenty of colour. Wow. Another round of ling here. That's beautiful. I've got another two. It's gonna make our family members very happy. Look at that. Nice. That one's a bit bigger than the last. Looks like we've managed to wrangle another one too. Oh, another they are loving the tuna, aren't they? Look at that, good size. Gonna be fantastic on the dinner table. Yeah, well, hey Murray, there's two more fish you have to clean, mate. Oh, these ones in comparison, very much the same size. That's good. We had one or two final drops that were pretty quiet, and we decided to head inshore to see what we could find. And we were greeted by mutton bird in the thousands, alongside dolphins and whales all feeding just a couple of kilometers offshore. This is so bizarre, man. Oh my god. What is going on? What are they feeding on? Let's find out. Well, I reckon they're probably feeding on some pilchards or something a lot smaller. And then there's a lot of cuda, potentially Australian salmon, hopefully a nice schooly tuna. Yeah, I don't know if it's... Just there are going to be any tuna. So, could be tuna. Could be. Could be. I reckon we're running out of time, so we'll just have to have a bit of a play, maybe throw the tuna rods out. They're all rigged up and ready. And just see what we can pick up. We just had the realization we're out on the shelf. We haven't actually uh, had much bait in our possession today. <laughs> We've been struggling. 
So we're uh, going to take a couple of these cooter. No legal size for cooter. Well, no worries. They're everywhere. You can still see those birds working up behind us. Here's another cooter. So it's a bait. There's a cooter. See if I can get him off. And we've just noticed there's another boil as well off in the distance. Which seems to have a lot more splashes in it. And, and less mutton bird. To be honest, the fishing here off the coast has been a little bit quiet the last couple of weeks, a couple of months. Um, whoop, there we go, there's another one. <laughs> Easy bait collection. Easy bait collection. This one's got a bit more weight to him. Um, yeah, so because the water's starting to warm up, we're now at 14 degrees. So realistically, everything's gonna start migrating down south and obviously that's what the mutton bird have done and uh, everything else. Alongside that, the fishing gets a lot more exciting. Uh, so we're happy and hopefully the viewers are too. We're still just doing a bit of bait collection, just getting ready for our next trip out to the shelf, doing some deep dropping. Um, the cooter is probably going to be fantastic bait and uh, there's no shortage, so get a bag while we can. I'm just going to fill up a couple of bags. We're allowed uh, 15, 15 per person, so we're just going to you know, get a couple of bags worth of bait for next time. That way we're always prepared. Oh, there's another one. We are quite literally just sitting here catching bait and there are whales popping up, dolphins. We can hear them squealing and talking and communicating. Not a tuner in sight, plenty of bait, plenty of mutton bird. This has just turned into the craziest afternoon. It's been a fantastic day on the water, really. Some more cooter for our baits on the next voyage. I've got to wash the boat, clean up, head back down to town for some family commitments. But thank you very much for watching this episode of Tazcast Fishing Adventures. I hope you enjoyed what we have put on offer for you today because nature has certainly spoiled us. Are you Let's having- Let's get fishy, baby. <laughs> Let's get fishy, baby. Oh, just having a dandy old time. This is just crazy. Honestly, look at that. Oh my golly, golly, gosh. Until next time, let's get fishy, baby. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you've learned a thing or two today. We've definitely learned something out here on the water. Over and out. Would you look who's cleaning the fish, eh? Oh, yeah. A bet's a bet. <laughs> yeah, I lost fair and square.